Just another day of crappy, no volume trade. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Wednesday, August the 25th. And, well, just another rotten day in the old marketplace, you know, whipping around. Uh, huge moves on the opening uh, that have already reversed. Uh, you know, again, it's just a wild, thin market that is virtually almost impossible to be too active because the swings are too violent uh, on too little volume. So in the meantime, again, as we tell you all the time, it's a good time to relax and, and do some study work or get the hell out and do something fun because these markets trying to be active is not the right way to be in this type of environment. In the meantime, this update is brought to you by our friends and partners at the Capital Trading Group, CTG. And of course, we've got many brokers on, on for futures and equities, but we prefer CTG because A, they do a great job. B, they got great customer service. C, they've got terrific managed futures products. And D, they handle all my accounts. So that's, I think that's good enough. And uh, I think they're great at handling our letter of direction, which their loans are authorized. So if you want to check them out, go to info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. That's info.capitaltradinggroup.com forward slash Bubba. And of course, at the moment, the Dow is up 14. And by the time you get this, it might be down 15 or 100. Who knows? Uh, the, the NASDAQ is up 10. The S&P is up four. We are along those three. The Russell is up 56. We are short, so short to Russell. So really no, virtually no changes in our position since yesterday. And uh, the metals are getting a little bit trounced today, which is not totally unexpected. As we continue to tell you, we are short gold and silver. And uh, we don't trade platinum anymore because it isn't liquid enough. But uh, platinum is also lower. And of course, it's been, you know, virtually rotating around that thousand level back and forth. Uh, silver is obviously not down as weak as gold is today, but gold has had a much bigger rally. But in the meantime, we are short gold and silver and will remain so. Uh, the dollar is slightly higher when we are long. The uh, crude oil is, um, is, is a little bit lower. You know, again, it's, it's had such a big move, even if it's going to reverse trend, which I don't know if it will or not. It's, it figures to have a little bit of a pullback either way okay so we are so short uh crude at the moment and uh copper is is basically flat and we are excuse me copper is about 20 about 0.21 uh and we're long and uh net gas <laughs> higher again but it's it is under four dollars but it is still at one of the historically highest prices for this time of year uh, bonds and notes are both a little bit lower. Uh, today is the start of the virtual Jackson Hole, Wyoming, uh, where the Fed does their usual ignorance. And uh, we'll see what they what they have to come out with today, if there's any announcements or anything. And uh, uh, Bitcoin is under a little bit of pressure again. It's back to, you know, about the 47.5 level. You know, hey, look, at the end of the day, we like it. We think it's going higher. Uh, we are along it in our in the the micros. Uh, you know, we would suspect. You know, again, if you're going to trade it, it's one thing and use the trend. But if you're going to use the you know the the wallets, just be careful. You know, again, it's not that we're concerned, but you're the, obviously in between the passwords and everything else. You have to remember, and you know, knowing that it could be zero tomorrow, we would just be very very cautious and careful. Uh, but we do own some. So again, it's, uh, you know, I own what I wouldn't care if it went to zero tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, in the grain markets, you've got corn, which is slightly higher and we are long. You've got beans, which are slightly lower and we're short, but they, they went up big yesterday and wheat, which is, is, is under pressure a little bit today again. And we're still long. So again, mixed picture there in the meats department, you've got, uh, uh, got cattle feeders, which are slightly higher. You know, no big deal. Uh, fats are slightly lower and hogs are up again. You know, hogs have been churning. You know, we're long cattle, we're short hogs. Uh, but they, cattle, I mean, hogs have been, you know, just kind of wildly trading, you know, up and down, kind of like a, a yo yo, you know, uh, really wild trade. But we are still short. And of course, it is making lower highs as it goes. And as we look at the softs, you've got um, uh, cotton, which is, is up a little bit. We're along, we're along them all. So cotton's higher. Coffee's higher, sugar's higher, cocoa's higher, and OJ is lower. 
okay, after having such a big move yesterday. So, yeah, it's a very mixed bag, a very mixed picture. Uh, you know, again, these these moves are, are sharp and fast and not necessarily where the markets are intending to go. So we, again, urge you to be careful uh, as you trade in here. And, of course, don't forget our other brokerage partner, which is Trade Your Brokerage. And, of course, Trade Your is $10 a month, which is about all I really should have to say. But we also have their APIs, which allows us to automate your portfolio if you choose. Obviously, you don't have to go to Trade Your, number one. And number two, you can... Uh, you can get, get the signal on your own. You are Once you are a member, you get the software for free. And if you choose to use it in the automated version, you can. If you use it, choose it manually, you can. That is entirely up to you. Uh, and our brand new uh, metals and physical metals and storage sponsor, which is uh, Strategic Wealth Preservation. And their, their website that you can check out some information if you'd like to is S-W-P-C-A-Y-M-A-N. That's Sierra Whiskey Papa. Charlie Alpha Yankee, Michael Alpha November dot com forward slash Bubba dash trading. That's who I use. So certainly I have vetted them and checked them out. So take a look at you if you're looking for some physical stuff. In the meantime, uh, don't forget Family Farms. You know, again, they do a great job helping farmers with the products, with the work that they don't want to do. OK, same with me, right? The, the human resources part. All the nonsense work that we would prefer not to do, we just like, like I like just to trade and farmers want to just farm. Uh, but they do, they are a great resource for those things. And that's Family Farms. And of course, our commodity report written by Andy Hecht, which is, there's nothing better in the commodity space. If you're a commodities trader and you're not reading this, shame on you. It is by far the best. It's called Technomental. You can get it at BubbaTrading.com. And of course, our high school program at Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. It's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. In the meantime, have a great trading, everybody. We'll see you back here again tomorrow with another Bubba's Daily Update. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later.